Welcome back to Beautiful Adventures. I am on my way for a couple night solo camping trip. Uh, it should be pretty fun. Today is a Sunday, so I went to church service and I'm heading straight out from church to the campsite. Got the bike fully loaded up and ready to go. Uh, it should be kind of fun. I took like last minute to book a trip on 4th of July weekend. <laughs> Um, pretty much every campsite was pretty full, but luckily I was able to find one that had a tent site available, so we're headed up there. Wanted something not too far, but far enough away from uh, civilization and uh, the wildfires we have in Washington. So I decided to find somewhere up by Skycomish one of a couple options available so luckily they had two nights and it should be a lot of fun. The plan with this is to just go relax for a, a day. Um, plan to do a lot of reading uh, especially in uh, my Bible and a couple books I've brought called the How God Makes Men and Friendship with God which uh, both are supposed to be pretty good books. Uh, How God Makes Men is a very good one. I've read a few chapters of that. I'm hoping I'm finishing it on this trip and uh, get into the other one a bit. Yeah, I got the Moscow bags <laughs> on here. And uh, I got the Harley top case which I think a pretty good combination. Hopefully it's going to work out well. Uh, this is my first time camping with the top case. Um, I kind of like it because it's hard and I can store stuff in it, lock it away. And it gives me a few more options than the duffel. The duffel is kind of nice for Moscow, but it is kind of hard to get in and out and um, strap down. It's a lot of work to strap it in, which I do not care for as much. So hopefully this is a, a better option. I also found some new solutions for the GoPro, hopefully. Um, for some reason the GoPro I liked on it kept coming off. So I went ahead and just used some electrical tape and taped it to the side of the helmet. It looks like it's holding off pretty well. Hopefully it'll stay that way over a couple hours of driving. Um, unfortunately it means I can't just take it on and off and uh, remove it like I was hoping with the Velcro. So I'm going to try to figure out a better solution with the Velcro. I might, I don't know, use a zip tie around it or something like that hold it on, but I'll figure that out another time when I have more time. And I also have it plugged in with a battery pack that's in my jacket, uh, which should also help the problem with the uh, batteries on the GoPro not lasting as long, which have been driving me insane. Um, I'm hoping to get a uh, tank bag at some point and um, wire that in so I can plug it into there and not have to have a battery pack. But it's all about figuring it out. I'm just hoping that uh, we'll get this uh, work out pretty well. Oh, lots of things, buddy. I just saw a little cricket right there on my windshield. So I guess he's going the other way. <laughs> well, with that, I am uh, going to take the nice long drive. Hopefully the GoPro will last the whole time there. Uh, got plenty of space to store it up. So next, I'll probably make a stop and I'll check on what you guys there.
got our stop here. This is the uh, Espresso Chalet. It is a Bigfoot themed little uh, cafe thing. So we're going to just uh, hang out here for a minute, probably grab some food or drink real quick and then uh, head over to the campsite. We're actually fairly close so it won't take us long from here. All right, we're back on the bike. Got a little tiny coffee in me. Uh, I didn't really care for the food option they had, but that's okay. Uh, it's a nice, fun little stop over here in Index, Washington. It's really cool. I'm gonna go for here. Nice Bigfoot there. So if you always wondered where Bigfoot's hangout was, this is it. We'll wait for this guy to pass. And I think I'm going to have to make one more stop. Um, just to um, pick up some water. I want a water bottle like a smart water. Because I forgot mine. But that's okay. Smart water is a pretty good little bottle. Um, I got my four liter with me, so, and there's potable water there, so I'll be fine. I just want a bottle of drink out of it. Um, and, uh, might grab a little bit of food, too. However, right, we're fairly close. You can see it says about 12 miles on the screen there. Um, this is a cool little area. I love Highway 2 up here in Washington because it's this nice little uh, forest road kind of thing. Oh, through the forest and mountains. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you really want to see some hills and mountains, as you'll probably see from the uh, way here, rivers and everything. So it's quite a beautiful drive. And uh, it's kind of fun to be out here and hang out. So, I always love this area. My uh, family usually stays up here at one point at a um, few different campgrounds around here. Not the one I'm going to. Uh, Money Creek is a pretty good one. I love that one. It's right off the highway. Um, and there's the river and a cool little place. We're going to actually be pretty close to that. Low hazard. Huh, that's a new sign. So hopefully there's no debris in the road. <laughs> oh, that'd be a, a fun one to deal with. I gotta go two miles up. Oh, I feel like there's something in my helmet. <laughs> I don't remember if this one is like off road or that. Oh, yeah, there's definitely like a bug in my hair right now. And it's hurting me nuts. I need to find someone to pull over. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh man. Uh, let's hope. 
Note the campos. Nice. I have wood. Oh, I broke my $10. How much is the wood, though? One, two... Okay. We're gonna be further at the end. I think it was 18, if I remember correctly. 16... 17... Is this 18, then? Yeah, it's 18 there. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I still got that bug in my hair. Oh. Oh, come on. Let's get this bug out. I found my way down to the river here and it's a beautiful little spot here um, it's pretty cool there's a nice little quiet campground there's a lot of trees so it kind of keeps you out of the sunlight I've been sitting and reading for a little bit but I figured I'd come down here and uh, look for a spot the river definitely can come in and wait a little bit let's uh, flip this around a bit Look at this beautiful spot here. Just gorgeous river. I love these campgrounds where you can get a little bit of water. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, look at that beautiful deep water there. Yeah, yeah it's a nice relaxing place. I've been uh, just doing some reading since I got here. And uh, I'm gonna head back and make dinner here shortly. I just brought um, a few dehydrated stuff. For the most part, I brought some sandwiches for lunch, so nothing uh, too crazy. I'm not cooking a huge meal, but I've been meaning to try the Peak Refuel dehydrated meals. They're supposed to be pretty good, and they're great for packing on the bike. So I brought a brought those. I got to remember what um, which one I have for tonight. I think beef marinara or something like that. some beef pasta marinara. Don't look too bad. It's supposed to be pretty good. Just gotta wait for the water to boil. Which we should be able to see right here. And then uh, let it sit for 10 minutes. Looks 
pretty good. more minutes add a little water hopefully it'll soak up just a little bit more it's pretty good I think I needed to let the water get a little hotter before I put it in let it boil a little longer because the meat and pastas a little um, crunchy still but otherwise it's pretty good I'm gonna eat this down and I don't know I'll probably read some more I'm a dollar short of getting firewood so that's a little disappointing I was hoping to grab a bundle and have a fire tonight I might reach out to neighbors see if they have a, a dollar and see if we can get a fire going but until then check in with you guys uh, either later tonight or tomorrow it was pretty much the end of the second day. Today I spent a lot of time just reading, relaxing. I went for a swim down in a river, which was pretty cool. I forgot to bring the uh, GoPro so I didn't uh, film that. But I uh, did make the sweet pork beans and rice. Uh, this one was actually really good. I liked that one a lot. And I got really lucky. Um, I did bring my uh, Blackbeard fire starter. I love this stuff. It's, um, it's really easy to start the fire. So... With that, I got some stuff together. All I gotta do is kind of drop this in the center there, get some stuff covering a little bit, and this should hopefully start up a fire pretty good. Just get a couple sparks in there, and it will be uh, absolutely perfect. Um, I did find a couple of these uh, like burnt logs someone threw out in the, the woods here. They're like down there, but. Um, they should uh, light up pretty good. So if I just get these couple guys on there, it's not going to be a lot, but it will. Um, let me call it. It should give me a fire for a little bit of time there. used a trusty lighter gave up on the ferro rod uh, apparently I couldn't get the hit which might just have to do with the fact that the pits so deep I don't know all right I got my last beer and uh, I got a decent fire going so we'll just kind of sit in for the rest of the night I got to finish uh, my one book um, this uh, little cooler I got from Harley I got all that's left in there now is ice um, it worked okay for a one-nighter for the two nights it kind of uh, got really warm so these last couple beers are pretty warm here but yeah it worked served its purpose I did a lot of the uh, dehydrated meals which uh, worked out pretty good for me so I was pretty happy with those but yeah other than that got a couple things to start reading and uh we'll just uh relax for a little bit for the rest of the night and then we're packing up and heading out in the morning i'll uh make breakfast in the morning and then after that i'll be heading out i got a barbecue to go to on the fourth uh not only for the fourth of july but for a friend of mine uh it's his birthday on the fourth so yeah should be a lot of fun but been a good weekend so far and uh, definitely enjoying it so crack open the last one read a few 
things and uh, I'll be uh, checking in for the night. All right, so next morning I had uh, some breakfast here, went and uh, rinsed off in the um, river, but now I'm uh, just finishing packing up. I only got a handful more things here to load up on the bike. Uh, as you can see over there, we got just a little bit more. And uh, let me finish wrapping up and uh, we'll be heading home. much everything on the bike I just got to get the uh, GoPro put away mounted up on the helmet and then uh, we're good to take off but I was able to get things stuffed in pretty well I got my backpack and then this is the cooler as well as the two Moscow bags uh, the top case and things uh, seem to work out pretty well uh, I'll just uh, throw the GoPro in there and uh, yeah I'll fit pretty good so let's get on the road. Hello. Hello. Phone connected. We have uh, about an hour and a half. It looks like we'll get back around noon, which will be perfect because I have a barbecue to go to for the fourth, and uh, it'll work out pretty well. Oh. Wow. But that was a pretty fun trip, nice and relaxing. Um, I didn't get as much shot as I kind of wanted, but I also was trying purposely to try to avoid a lot of technology and keep reading and, and being in God's Word. That was my focus for this trip. So I did try to shoot a little bit here, so you'll see a little bit of um, what I did in the morning. And, and, uh, night but it was a pretty relaxing just a two night uh, camping trip uh, I really love having one next to the river because I am one of these guys that I like to shower every day so it's really hard for me to get through without at least washing my face or something and, uh, the river especially with the glacier water here it's, uh, it's cold and I love it I absolutely love it yeah, this is that part where that tree or something fell down. But, if you could see, I did get everything packed on the bike for me. I did uh, pack up a couple extra things I didn't need. Like, I brought a little uh, folding table or a, I don't know what you call it, side table that, like, folds up. Uh, which, of course, there was a big old picnic table, so I didn't need that. I brought my chair, which um, is far more comfortable than the um, picnic table is, so I'm happy I brought that. Uh, one thing I didn't bring was batteries for my headlamp, which uh, made it just a little more difficult to read because that is perfect, but luckily I got done with the chapters that I wanted as it was dying off, so that worked out really well for me. Uh, all in all, great trip. Nothing too crazy went wrong. I have uh, two more chapters in the book I want to get all the way through, but uh, that's not a big deal. I'll probably get those done this week and then move on to the other. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, we really put this together and getting it done shortly. But uh, my goal is to try to get it done. That guy actually scared me. I wasn't expecting him to shoot around like that. 
thoughts I've had for the channel and kind of things up. Uh, uh, it's hard to say because I really want to uh, be putting out a lot more videos, but I'm not sure exactly how to do it. So if you guys have ideas, things you want to see more of, uh, let me know. Uh, I might be uh, adding some other activities in it as well. So, with that, you guys have a great one. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to the coming next. Yeah, uh -huh.